Okay, welcome to day six. So today we're learning a classic melody, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Please don't roll your eyes if you're an adult. Uh, I know it's, this is a children's song, but I really believe as guitar players, we should all know how to play these classic melodies because it makes us uh, such better musicians. And, you know, they're really sweet, um, nice melodies that most people know. So um, we're going to do Mary Had a Little Lamb today, and we're going to learn uh, a new chord called D major and a little bit of an expansion of the G major chord that we already learned. Okay, so it's gonna be a lot of fun because we get to play together, uh, taking turns playing the melody and the chords, and we'll also learn a couple new techniques today. Okay, so let's go. All right, Mary Had a Little Lamb, here we go. So we have four notes that we need to find on our guitar first. Okay, they're all gonna be on the G string. Okay, so we have an open G, and we'll play all of these with a down pick. Um, it's up to you if you wanna play a rest stroke or a free stroke. You just want to aim to only be picking that one string, okay? So we have the G, we have a note on fret 2 of the G. Every time you play this note, I'd like you to use your first finger. So let's try that. Go ahead and press down on fret 2 of the G, get a good tone there. Nice. We have one on fret 4, and on this fret, I'd like you to use your third finger, okay? So let's try that one. Fret 4. Nice, and with that same finger, we'll slide up and play fret seven. Okay, the whole tune are just those four notes. Okay, so we'll learn the first phrase. Let's start with fret four. Make sure you have your third finger there. All right, it's gonna go like this. So those frets are four, two, open, two, four, four, four. Okay, I'll do that one more time and I'll have you try it. And as you go, I'm going to call out the frets for you, okay, so you know exactly where to go. Make sure you use the same fingers that I am, okay? So here it is. Four, two, open. Two, four, four, four. Good. Now you try. Ready? Four, two, open, two, four, four, four. Good. Okay, that's the first phrase. The next phrase goes like this. Okay, so that time I went two, two, two with my first finger, and then four, seven, seven. And I'm going to show you a really fun way to get from fret four to seven later using a slide. Okay, so that phrase, watch very closely. Two, 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 four, seven, seven. Okay, you try it. Ready? Two, 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 four, seven, seven. Good, we're halfway there. The next phrase starts off like we did in the beginning. With one little difference, there's an extra fret four there, okay? Did you catch it? We go four, Two, open, two, four, 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 four. Okay, that's because that note uh, lines up with the, the words in the song. Okay, so you try. Here, I'll count you in. And you'll try starting on fret four. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Four, two, open, two, four, four. Four, four, good. Here's the very last line. Okay, that's two, two, four, two, open. Nice, that's the whole tune, okay? Um, I'll play the whole thing without stopping. If you like, follow along with me. 
uh, or if you would prefer, you can just kind of watch and listen. Okay, look at all of my fingers and how I'm using only these two fingers, fingers one and three. Okay, I'll play it once and I'll call up the fret numbers for you too. Here we go. Four, two, open, two, four, 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 two, 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 four, seven, seven, four, two, open, two, four, 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 two, two, four, two, open. Nice. Okay. Let's try it together. If you like, you can sing along. We, we, we'll hold off on the lyrics for, um, on the words for Mary Had a Little Lamb. We'll just sing the numbers for now. That'll really help us know where to go. Okay. Let's, let's try this together. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Four, two, Okay, don't worry if you if you couldn't keep up that time. Okay, that's, that's why we practice, but that's the whole melody to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, I'm going to show you a cool way to get up to fret 7 now. Go ahead and play fret 4 and pick that note. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push into the wood with your finger. So it takes some good, good amount of pressure. And then you're going to slide stop right at fret 7 just like you're playing baseball and you're sliding into the into the plate okay and when you reach fret 7 you're gonna pluck that note again like that so you, you pick press in slide and pick again here try it with me press down on fret 4 pick it slide and stop right at fret 7 Nice. That's called a slide. A lot of fun to play on the guitar. And another, another cool thing is called vibrato. This is when we pluck a note and we shake the note like this, just like our finger was glued to the uh, fretboard. And you get this cool little kind of wavering sound. All right. Nice. So that's the whole tune. Um, now we're going to get into uh, the chords and we're going to learn some new chords now. All right. Okay, I'm going to show you the two chords that you can play along to the melody of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, we're going to strum these two. The first one's called a G major, and it goes like this. So we'll strum from the D string all the way through, and you'll have your third finger on the third fret of the high E string. Okay, so that's a G major, and the other one's just a little bit trickier. Okay, so we're going to build this one in steps. It's called a D major chord. Okay, it looks like that. It's a little bit of a finger twister, but you can do it with some practice. First, we start off with the open D string. Then we have finger one on fret two of the G, just like we do in the melody, okay? When we play the melody of Mary Had a Little Lamb. We're gonna try to play these two strings at the same time, okay? Let's try it. That actually makes a D power chord. It's got that kind of power chord sound that, uh, that we learned earlier from the E power chord, remember? This is called a D power chord. Okay, so once you feel pretty good about that, let's add our third finger onto fret three of the B string. Okay, so we have two fingers down now, and we're gonna strum from the D string down to the B. Like that, okay? Give that a try. It takes a little more coordination now that we have more than one finger. And then the last one, this is the trickiest one, but you can do it. Finger number two 
is going to come in right behind here on fret number two of the high E string. Okay, so you have to try to make room for everybody and get up on the tips of your fingers. Thumb is on the other side doing the squeeze thing. Do your best to strum this chord, okay, from the D string all the way through. Okay, very good chance you get this kind of sound. Bunch of muted notes, maybe some buzzes. That's okay. Just do your best with this one, okay? That's your D major. And that's it. We just have two chords in this whole song. G major and D major. A lot of times as I call these chords out, um, I'll just say G or I'll just say D, okay? We're going to play this tune together and we're going to strum along. Okay, so do your best to keep up. I think the G chord is going to feel pretty easy for you. And then you'll just maybe struggle a little bit with that D chord. But the best way to learn is to just try to keep up with me and, and keep playing. And you'll have all kinds of chances to do this. All right. So here we go. I'm going to hit play on the recording. And we're going to play through Mary Had a Little Lamb twice. Okay, so you get some good practice playing these two chords. Start off with your G. Remember we strum from the D string down. I'm going to hit play and then we'll start, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, go. We're going to switch to the D. Back to the G. Still G. Okay. All right, shake that off. Chords are tough. All right, especially this D chord, but you're going to you're going to get it. Okay? Let's play one more time through. This time we're going to switch over to the melody. So if you ever get a chance to meet a guitar player friend, it's a lot of fun to take turns playing the melody and strumming chords together. Uh, it's a really fun way to play songs, um, and if you don't have a guitar player friend available, you can always just play along with me in these videos. Okay? So we're going to play through the melody this time, and why don't we do this? We'll play the melody the first time around, and then we'll switch to the chords the second time around, so you get the whole, the whole big picture, okay? We'll start with the melody, starting on fret 4. I'll count us in, and we'll, we'll close off the day with this, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Four, two, open. Ready? G chord. And now a D major. Back to G. Still G. And then D. Three times. One, two, three. And we let it ring. Nice job. All right, good. Okay, that's it for Mary Had a Little Lamb today. So maybe you found that really easy. Maybe you found it surprisingly difficult. Um, 
you know, I've taught all kinds of different people how to play guitar, professionals like doctors and lawyers and engineers and stuff. And they all say that learning the guitar is a very humbling ex experience. So if you find this um, a, a little more difficult than you thought it would be, you're in very good company. It's normal. It's very slow to get good tone and to keep up rhythmically with uh, with even a simple song like, like we did today. Okay, so stay with it. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow where we're going to learn a new song. We're going to take that D major chord that we learned today. We're going to couple it with the big E minor chord. And we'll have a lot of fun playing a new song tomorrow. Okay, so write down in your guitar journal. Uh, that's it for day six. And then tomorrow's going to close out one full week of playing guitar. So nice job and keep at it.